Underground enrollment went down 8% from 2019 to 2022. High tuition and debt among the turnoffs for prospective students. Are college kids coming to their senses? Let's talk to the star of Animal House himself, our Mr. Blue Tarski, former cab driver. He's a comic, host of Fox Across America, on tour right now with the last Liberty Tour, the one and only Jimmy Fallon. Pow! Woo! Great to see you! Hallelujah. I'm in a tough spot here as a Harvard graduate. Uh, <laughs> I realize uh, you're wearing your crimson yeah, red right. blazer. Well, it's Harvard State. Just to be clear, it's Harvard State. Uh, but Less, no. Lesser known. If I, I would tell my son Lincoln to skip college, yeah. uh, but I saw his report card, so I don't have to. Uh, it's, kind of, <laughs> it's kind of getting skipped for him. Uh, but the brilliant point you made in your memo, okay, is that college used to have a good racket in that they had convinced a, a major percentage of society we needed them, okay, in order to get ahead. But what we're finding now is so many people are getting behind by this soul-crushing debt, just that alone. You know, I've never met a girl who's trying to strip her way through flight attendant school, and I have tried. <laughs> I have scoured the Internet and the airlines, but the truth is they've pumped in so many new, new majors that don't have a commensurate job, yes. and that's the big thing now. So you might be four five hundred thousand dollars in debt and you hate america so you've got to go get a job in this country you hate and you owe it all this money and you're never going to make it back and yeah. that's the part that's the scam and and the socialists at your college tell you that we need to raise taxes we yeah. need to raise taxes because you know it's like they've got tenure they yeah. don't care and they've no. got pensions no they don't care that's the scam of this whole thing and everyone knows people in this day and age who they're just not even using their degree. Let's say they went, let's say they applied themselves, mm -hmm. but the lifestyle in that particular career didn't really connect with them. Yeah. Or there's just the people who didn't wind up working in the field, like six years of study and I'm not a belly dancer. Okay, I'm not, okay? It's just reality, and I've got to live with Jimmy, that investment. Jimmy, you have to tell me if you're a belly dancer. Because <laughs> I really thought, when originally you were hired on the show as a writer. It was false pretenses. Was they call me list. Jim Santos. I made a lot of promises on the campaign trail. I'm a professional volleyball player, which is hard to do when I'm grieving the loss of my grandmother at Auschwitz. Hey, that is no way for you to treat a survivor of the Titanic. We're coming up on the month of the anniversary of Mr. Santos swimming to his freedom. He was actually serving burgers on Hamburger Hill. Like, that's, that's how bold and patriotic this guy is. He's like, nope, this double-double is for the troops. <laughs> but yeah, no, I struggle with this. Like, my daughter is going to college in the fall, and this whole thing has been her choice, where yep. she applies, what she studies, and, you know, and I tell her, like, I didn't go to college right after high school because... Well, I, I didn't graduate from high school. Well, there's that. <laughs> but also, I was completely unfocused. Yeah. I didn't have the energy for that. I wanted to work. I wanted to learn about radio and politics yep. and all that stuff. Well, here's the one thing, too. Okay, if you're willing to work, there's never been an easier time to get ahead than now because so many of these trades and crafts are short-staffed. Yeah. There's such a demand for your work. And in a lot of instances, you're self-sufficient in that you can work for yourself. Like, if you go out and learn a trade like carpentry, yeah, you can wind up at a carpentry union and work in construction all over town. But if you're a handyman, Okay, do you know how much work they have right now in the suburb? Yeah, granted, uh, no, no, I'm not even talking about in films because there's a lot of films. And uh, to double correct myself, I you believe TaskRabbit is yeah. a blessing because <laughs> there are all these handymen and they have like shirtless photos. Well, now, before we both get in a lot of legal trouble, it's handy them. Uh, we don't need those kind of problems. It's 2023. Get your head out of the gutter. I, it's it's always in the gutter, and that's why I need uh, an intervention from. <laughs> <laughs> a, a man who has lived scared straight. Yes. And and that's what we do on the road. We're going to Davenport, Iowa. Coming for you, girl. On, uh, on Saturday. Boom. Love and, it. Yeah. And it's a win for the American people. Best crowds in the world. No one's ever got offended by a joke within 20 miles of a Cracker Barrel. That's the Laughs and Liberty Tour. You know what you a do? Safe you space. get you get a double helping of the green beans. Thank you. Best thing at Cracker Barrel. And then you defund the joke police. <laughs> and you go to the Adler Theater this Saturday night. How many? Yeah, Adler Theater, Davenport, Iowa, Jimmy and me. We're going to be uh, dressed like a couple of castaways from <laughs> the Ropers, which I'm excited about. It's hot. All right, Jim, thank you. <laughs>